ABC Action News starts right now with breaking news. And we start with that breaking news at 5 o'clock. The Pasco County Sheriff's Office just announced they've made an arrest in the case of that missing woman from Largo, Kathleen Moore. This, this just, just came in. in into our newsroom in the last 20 minutes. The Sheriff's Office has not released any other details. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton has been following this case for the last several days. And J.J. joins us live where Kathleen Moore's co-workers were already planning to gather. J.J., what was the reaction out there with this major update? And for our co-workers here at Whiskey Wings, they're hopeful that this means they're one step closer to getting more information and finding out where she is and what happened to her. But again, like you said, they are planning that candlelight vigil. They're going to be lighting these candles, and they've been doing this all week. And they say this is, this is their way of lighting her way home next to this picture here, which says, my story isn't over yet. And that's what they're hoping for Kathleen. This is video from over the weekend. Pasco County deputies were seen searching this wooded area behind the 7-Eleven at Seven Springs and State Road 54. They left with evidence bags, but detectives aren't confirming what's in them. And this is right across the street from the Walgreens, where a homeless man found 34-year-old Kathleen Moore's cell phone in a dumpster. And less than a mile from here is her boyfriend's home. According to detectives, this is the last place Moore was before she disappeared. It's heartbreaking. Faith Zessen is Moore's goddaughter. She and everyone else who knows her say Moore would never go more than an hour without talking to one of them in some way. She's always active on Facebook. She's always Snapchatting me, making sure I'm okay. Moore's boss and friend, Jamie Poe, is the one who reported her missing after chatting with Moore's boyfriend on Facebook Messenger last Monday evening. And he he just said, oh, I didn't know, or she didn't come with me, or she no, left. No, he said or... that she came with him, and then I guess she got upset and... And he said she left either in an Uber or with a friend. He didn't know. She said the boyfriend stopped talking after the sheriff's office got involved. And detectives have not named him as a suspect or person of interest in her disappearance. We've gone by the house several times, including today, and no one has answered. And the people who love and miss more the most say at this point all they can do is pray for a miracle. We all have a bad gut feeling about it because we know that she's a fighter. But there's only so much, you know. And back out here live again, we told you that there has been an arrest made. We don't know who that person is that they arrested. They will have a press conference at 8 o'clock where they will tell us exactly who they arrested and how they made that arrest. And hopefully some more updates as to where Kathleen Moore is and what happened to her. Again, there will be a candlelight visual here at 6 with our co-workers hoping, again, praying and hoping that she is found safe. Reporting live in Pinellas County, I'm J.J. Burton, ABC Action News.